It has been decades since nine year old Christine Jessup was taken from her quiet neighborhood and brutally murdered. Years of anguish followed for her family as investigators worked tirelessly to find the person responsible. Finally, the Jessups have answers. Our Karen Lieberman sat down with Christine's mother and brother. 36 years have passed since Janet Jessup's daughter, Kenny's little sister, went missing. Relieved that we finally have the answer we waited, waited for. Three months after Christine Jessup disappeared from the family home in Queensville, Ontario, her body was found. It was New Year's Eve 1984. The nine-year-old had been sexually assaulted and stabbed. Police searched for the killer. Now, like anything in this case, it couldn't be a simple answer. Their neighbor, Guy Paul Moran, was arrested and wrongfully convicted, eventually acquitted based on DNA evidence. Decades passed without a development, and the case went cold. Always there's hope, but did you have any expectation that this day would come? You, you dreamed it might happen. Yeah. You know, and what, and what would you do? Then, just days after they visited Christine's gravesite to mark yet another anniversary of her death, if he, he were alive today, the Toronto Police Service would arrest Calvin Hoover for the murder of Christine Jessup. I, I remembered his face when they showed the mugshot. You always suspected it was someone who knew Christine, someone who knew your family. And they'd come up and, and play because we had the space. Or we'd go and down for a barbecue at their house. Yeah. And Good you know, the, the men would go one way, the women would go the other, and the kids were sitting out in the backyard with Pop. Calvin Hoover's wife had worked with Christine Jessup's father. Angry about who it is, frustrated, upset. Betrayal. Betrayal, that's mm -hmm. a huge one too. That's a good word, yeah. Hoover died by suicide in 2015, but the Jessups find solace in knowing he was Christine's killer, identified via genetic genealogy, a forensic technique that combines DNA analysis with genealogical research. What's in your mind when you think about Christine? I mean, she had a chance to live, and, and she should have had that chance. While there is no happy ending here, this conclusion, Janet and Kenny Jessup say, allows them to reflect on Christine as the happy-go-lucky child she was. Now we can really look back and fo just focus on the good memories. It's done. It's finally over. Karen Lieberman, Global News.